for tuning in. This is Optibotomous coming to you with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Spider Bites. It's cute little thing. Although it says he's the largest, deadliest, venomous arachnid. Although he's kind of small to be the largest, I, I, I would say. I don't quite understand that. But uh, there he is. It's uh, Spider Bites. And... Yeah, he's tiny, and it looks like there's some assembly required inside there. You got the nice packaging for him, which is very similar to what we've gotten previously. Come around here to the back, and it says, After a barrel of ooze is poured over Vic, he mutates into spider bites. <laughs> a giant spider with the ability to spit deadly fireballs of acid. With his massive spider legs, he chases down the turtles, giving them a run for their lives. The turtles better be on the lookout, watching if Spider Bites is hanging from any spider web nearby. Now, his weapons are uh, acid spit and long spider legs, and he's teamed up with the Krang, which he really isn't, but yeah, you get the idea. And then you see all the other figures that are in the line. Yeah, I mean, I, I do, I really like Spider Bites. It was a real funny episode, a very early episode, which is kind of strange that it's taken so long for us to get the, the figure for it, but there you have it in the, the, the packaging form, and, in, and you got the instructions down here that says to insert the uh, legs as shown. So let's get him open and see how cool he actually is. <laughs> All right, guys, so here we have Spider Bites open up and out, out of its packaging, and he's massive. I mean, this guy is so huge. Uh, all right, n nah, not really. He's kind of tiny, and he's itty-bitty and very, very small and way too small for how he should actually be. Uh, for a comparison, here's a here's a small Mikey. Here, here, here's Mikey, and yeah. Um, no, and Mikey's drunk. Go home, Mikey, you're drunk. Um, this guy should be, like, here, and he's here. And I don't even know. He's more cute than anything. I mean, he, okay, so he's got big, sharp teeth and everything, but he, 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 I, I don't know. And these claws, I, I, I guess, are kind of scary, but they look more like little hands, I, I would say they they are slightly different that you you can see how they angle inward uh you got two that are well you got two are pretty much the same these two are pretty much the same and then these are different so maybe i have these on here wrong but getting mikey out of the way um it, 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 it's such a disappointment in, in a lot of these figures aside from the turtles all the villains really aren't very good, to be totally honest. And it's very unfortunate because they have a lot of good characters that, that are villains in the show. Um, the the actual figure is very hollow feeling. Uh, he's got fairly decent detail in here. I mean, his mouth, you can actually put stuff in his mouth. I mean, it's not all just molded. I mean, there is a bit of a gap there. But um, it, it really isn't too special or anything uh, his arms here move and they swivel so uh you, you got some articulation the legs are stuck in this pose that's really it but i i don't think that he's really worth the price if, if this guy was half the price this this feels like it's a five dollar toy i, I mean the, these are all on ball joints so you can sort of uh, position these however you want down here at the base and then they all swivel here so that's that's kind of cool but like I said, it, it's the size, and you can bend them back, I, I guess. The, the size is just really disappointing in here. If he was the exact same figure, but bigger, I would probably like him a whole lot more. But he's just so tiny by comparison that he doesn't really give the same imposing presence that the actual character does. And that, that's true for a lot of the villains. I mean, when you look at the likes of, like, Leatherhead or Snakeweed or Dog Pound, even the Baxter Stockman figure that we got, they're all ridiculously undersized. The only one that's oversized would probably be Fish Face. I mean, I, I like the guy. I, I like the way that it looks. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I really do. I just really think he needs to be much bigger. And for the price, he should be bigger. I, I do understand that they're trying to keep these all in, in a certain price point and by getting them to fit in the, the actual packaging so they don't have to come up with new packaging. I get that. But some of these characters really do need to be bigger. And that's really unfortunate because, some, like I said, a lot of them have great personalities. 
and I would love to see them in a m much bigger role in terms of the series. Just the toys are really kind of letdowns. So I would recommend picking them up to add to your Ninja Turtle collection, but you got to find them at the right price. Or maybe if you have coupons to get them, or like I said, he's more around a $4, $5, maybe $6 toy. If you get him at Walmart, I think he's $8.88, so about $9, and that's still a little bit too much, I think, for this guy. But uh, beyond that, that's about it, guys. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optobotomous. Keep in touch with me. Find out recent purchases as well as all upcoming video reviews all at Facebook.com slash TeamBotomous, and by following me over on Twitter at Twitter.com slash Optobotomous. Also, check out my new website at OptobotomousReviews.com. And don't forget, please like, subscribe, and share this video. And until next time... I'll talk to you later.